Yo, what's up, guys? It's Oxlade here, and welcome back to the video. And Chewie here! <laughs> yes, Chewie, everyone can see your fat ass on the camera. Today, and welcome back to another episode of The Great Impact. We're back with some more GTA Online. Anyway, so we're here in our apartment here. Listen to techno music, and we have no fucking idea what we're gonna do today. I saved ships to the golf course! Wait, what the fuck? That sounds like, actually sounds like a good fucking idea. A trip to the golf course. Why the fuck do I go to a golf course? I don't know, kind of like, just want to drive, you know, just drive. Speaking of driving, I got you a present. A present? For me? Well, I want to see the present. <laughs> well, alright then, you want a present. First, I need to change my clothes. Basically, you need to change, when all I play is wearing a leather jacket, jeans, boots, and a tank top and glasses. But I customize him into the shop here. Okay. This time, I'm looking at Oh, you don't you already picked last time. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I ain't wearing a fucking fucking cut. Uh, um Nah, it looks like go here. Uh, oh, okay, here's here's a fucked up one. So, anyways, guys, so Rockstar put this special, this like funny, fucked up joke in the game here. So, you guys can't see because the fucking leather jacket's on. So, basically, they actually did a knockoff of the doll of the vapid sign. The vapid logo says $4.20. Represents a 420. Because that was like back in April. Damn, Nick, it looks so fucking cool on you. I know. Wow, you want to go golfing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my prison. I actually got I actually got you something. I actually got you a new car. Wait, what do you mean new car? What's my awesome I I had an awesome like jackal. Well, you're gonna you're gonna like this car instead. Wait, you sold my car? I just sold your car, I exchanged it. Why the fuck would you exchange it? So I could get more money to buy a new car for you. Anyway, Chewy, here is your new car. Before we get to the new car, I wanna view one of these right here and view all of these right here from start to finish. First, we have this right here. We have the, the classy stallion. This is the Burger Shot one, which is a parody off of Burger King or McDonald's. Aim the Bleeders Burgers. Bleed and tasty. Next, we have the Vapid. Yeah, we have the Vapid Dominator, which is the Ford Mustang. And it's Piss Wasser. It's mostly, it, means, it means piss water in German. And basically, it's a parody off of Bud Weiser. Next, we have the General Lee, the Bravado Gauntlet. It's Redwood Cigarettes, and it's also a off of Marlboro Cigarettes. And we have Dodge Charger, or the, the Bravado Buffalo, and it's basically Sprunk. And it's a parody off of Sprite. So yes. Anyways, Chewie, here was your new car. Right here is your new car. What the fuck is this? It's not the junk. Oh, I meant your car, Chewie. Why the fuck do I have this? I mean, you don't like it? I mean, no, I, I, I like it, but like, why'd you give me this car? It's a, it's actually, it's actually a, it's actually an electric vehicle. It's a hijacked chameleon. Is it like a Tesla? Oh yeah, it's like a Tesla, right? But it actually goes like a few miles per hour. I, sp I don't like the car, I don't like it. What do you mean? I don't like the car. I just spent over a hundred thousand dollars on this car. Okay, fine. I guess I'll drive. All right, remember we're going to the we're going to the golfing we're going to the golf course. See, yeah, no gas. This is electric. No gas. Okay, just take us just drive us to the golfing course, Chewy. Oh. No. <laughs> See, it's electric. It's like driving a Prius almost. The Korean Dolo Ponte. I want like that I want a Corvette like that car. Well, Julia, I don't have the, I don't have, I don't have the money to buy a fucking Corvette. Julia, I literally have 36 grand in my fucking banking account right now and online. How the fuck would I get would spend your fucking ass on a car? I can't believe you got me a fucking cheap car. 
But true, you don't want, you don't want, you don't want to want. Plus, I thought Jack liked the exchange because someone was looking for a car to drive. Was it a miner? Oh, uh, it wasn't a fucking miner. It's some guy who left fucking double egg from the toilet seat last night. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Chewie, yeah. oh, you know what? Just like some type of fucked up shit where you just always lie about lie about you fucking on yourself. I know, fuck myself. You know what, Chewie? Fucker. Now he's dead on my car! He fucking scratched my car! Not that bad, Chewie. Plus, there's no scratch. Fuck. So now it's Chewie, fuck. Let me look at the car. Look, there's a fucking scratch on the car, Nick! Fuck, I, 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 I'm paying it. Nick, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Dude, can you not, can you not go? Can you not go fucking fast? Car parked man on the grass. Is this is this part of property? Yeah. But Nick, isn't it, too, isn't it a little late for golfing? You can golf anytime. Off the car. Okay. Well, I want to see the car I want. Fuck, should we? Okay, which website you want? You want to go on the Legendary Motorsports? San Andreas? I want to go see you. Okay, let's see what we got here. Who's someone I want here? Mr. Come S2? Uh, yeah, it's one million dollars, you ain't fucking spending that much money. Oh, uh, Mr. Cam. I mean, these look really cool. Oh, the lamp, the lamp of daddy, the lamp of daddy be gone. That looks really fucking cool. Uh, let's see what else we have. And it's S80R. R. Well, that looks fucking cool. I like that car. Sure, I already have that car. Plus, I worked my ass to get that car. I spent over one million dollars just to fucking buy that car. There's this car here. The oh oh a Ferrari, the Grotti Italo GTO. I mean it's a, it's a I mean shit, Julia. I mean you you said you want. Man, I kind of like the Ocelot Swinger. Well, you said you you want you want a Ferrari Classic. When the fuck does they want a Ferrari, a Ferrari Classic? They have these. They have, they have the. Uh, they have some classics right here. They have the. They have a, a Lamborghini, a, a, the Bugatti Torero. They have the Grotti Cheetah Classic. They have the. They have a. They have the Ferrari Classic. They have a. They have a Lamborghini Classic. And what a Bugatti? Bro, why the fuck do you want a Bugatti for? <laughs> it's okay, but still. She kind of like that card there. The Grotti X8 Proto. Yeah, sure. They have a Ferrari Classic, Chewy. They all, they, all look, they all look cool, but I don't know which one to buy. They have, they have, a, they have an Earth. A a they, have a they have two Corvette classics, but one is the is a topless one. <sighs> here are the uh here here are some um Ferrari classics, Chewy. I kind of like the topless one. What eight hundred fifty thousand dollars? Only have thirty six grand, so. I mean, Chewy. I mean, I, I don't, if you want to, you're 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 gonna we're gonna do some job. You're the one who has has the penny to get that car. But I also like some other cars on top. Well, what would you like? I mean, I like some, um... I kind of like the, the Inverter Cocaine Black Fin. Well, that's your own choice, Chewy. Well, let, let, let's, see what, let's see what it reads here. Ah, uh, America in the, in the 1950s. It's easy to spot the moment when Freudian, psych, Freudian psychosexual theory met car design and what a glorious pairing it was. 
The coquette couldn't be more phallic and it was dragging a pair of hairy beach balls. It even smells like cigar smoke, preservative values, and semen. Get out and get out your checkbook because this golden age of rep repossession won't re resurrect itself. What the fuck? Who, who the fuck will make a fucking description on the coquette, coquette fucking black fin? This one's only $695,000. Okay, well, Chewie, we, we're not here to eyeball fucking vehicles. We're here to play, we're here to play fucking golf. I ain't, um... Wait, let me, let, me, let me check out, let me check out the Bukowski Films Classic. Let me check out the Lamborghini Classic. Let's see, let's see this one. Let's see, let's see this one she says. Experience tells you that anything is hot. Must be crazy. And you're not wrong. The Inference Classic is a, is a kind of car that will dazzle you with its perfect cheekbones. Empty your bank account and once you're sleeping in the wet patch, it will finish it, you off with a rusty machete. What's not to love? That's, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Why the fuck are you putting like shitty ass like, inappropriate shove on the fucking car website in the description? Well, any, anything else, Chewy, you like? Any other car you like? Well, I need some more. Um... I kind of like the donuts down there. Well, I mean, I, I'm not sure about the, I'm not sure about this fucking car right here. Talk about the fucking Freudian psychosexual fucking theory. Uh, well, let me just look. Um, I kind of like the, uh, um, let's see. What's, what's, what's this description car? What, what's this car you get me? The Chameleon is an electric hybrid luxury sports sedan. Don't laugh. It isn't a complete oxymoron. This beauty handles so well, you'll never know you're driving a plug-in. Welcome to the future, so long as you have access to a specialized charging station. You spent over $100,000 on this fucking car? I'm Chewy. I, I didn't know what to do. Hey, look at Bugatti! The Truvati's backs? This is a part of this is a fucking Bugatti Chiron. What's this one? Forget unitary construction. Put your, put your Monaco back in your pants. The rolling chassis is back. And it's making sweet, naphtha, kerosene drenched love for the hottest body in the world. Don't worry if you don't understand any of that. Just take the corners hard, and you feel the future. Trust us. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm disturbed. You also get a French ribbon flag right there. I want to buy it. Uh, no, Chewie. It's two million dollars, and I don't have enough money, fucking money to buy a fucking car for you, fat ass. Chewie, if we have enough money, I'll buy the cocaine black fin. I mean, I guess it sounds like a cool car. Alright, let's go play golf. Dude, dude, we're just playing, we're just in a little fucking game here, playing fucking golf. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry, we can't play golf, it's too late. What do you mean it's too late? Because you were fucking on the, because you were on the phone fucking looking at cars and reading fucking descriptions on them, reading the fucking caps on the cars they put on the fucking website. They're probably used cars. Yeah, but you wanted a fucking cocaine black fin that has the smells of cigar, c cigar burns, fucking conservative values, and fucking semen, dude. I think I was a used ass fucking car. And it's talking about the fucking Freudian, Freudian theory. What do you mean by Sigmund Freud? Chewie, I don't fucking care. Just drive, dr just drive us around. Drive us around so we can kill some time. Oh, look! The dark side of the moon! Wait. The dark side of the fucking moon. Hey, look, a Porsche! A Porsche! No, I'm not, I'm not giving you a fucking Porsche. Why? You don't fucking, you don't need no fucking Porsche. What time is it? 2250, Scott! We got another, we got another fucking hour to go play golf, Chewie. God, thanks a, thanks a lot, Chewie. Chewie, you're looking at fucking cars. How the fuck would you... Nick, cause, why, why, would, why the fuck would you give me this car right here? Cause it's limited edition. It's not limited fucking edition. It's fucking. It's a fucking Tesla. Which, should we? Oh, and there's a fucking. Hey, how do you get this? How do you get this scratch on my fucking car? I could take your fast to go to the Los Santos Customs. Really? Yeah, you got the customized car. I actually, got, I actually got your spoiler. So, whoa, whoa, whoa Chewie, what the fuck? Chewie, you just went to a fucking stoplight, red light. Dude, dude, Chewie, slow down. I can't, I'm too excited. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, this is gonna be more. If you crash this car, it's gonna be a lot more money to, to fucking spend. 
Dude, you just bust you just busted the right your right headlights and you busted a few fucking windows. Well the front's one safe. Now I gotta spend more fucking money on your fucking ass to get to get this fucking car repaired. Oh calm down, Nick. <laughs> oh here we are. What's wrong with it now? Oh yeah, my fucking psycho friend here just fucking crashed the car and you need to get fucking repaired. I got the gold, dual exhaust, this, enough for the hood. I kind of like the, enough for the hood here. I mean, what, the hood looks really cool. Well, get the, get those. It's okay, not but still, well. It's okay, not but still. Wait. I got the painted roof. <laughs> it's okay, not but still. I'm not selling the fucking car tree. You want you want to respray it? Yeah. Fuck. What color? Tree. I can't. I can't get those. Why? Cause you got all. I got locked in when when I. Basically, those all you, you only unlock is when you get like enough races. I mean, like you have to, like race to get them. Um, bleach brown. No, that looks fucking. Ooh. I want orange. Well, you spend a lot. You spend a lot of fucking money on that on that color, dude. Now I have fourteen grand to spend. And it's still dark time. What the fuck? You were looking on the fucking website on cars. Well, I guess we can stop here and look at more cars. No, Chewie, I want to play fucking golf. Come on, let's look at some more cars. Fuck me. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> still. Okay, what car? What car? What kind of car are you eyeballing at? Um, I kind of. I've been eyeballing the Prince of Pay the best eight. Well, we already have that. Let's, let's read the description. It began as little more than a myth. A lesson of possible statistics circulating on the dark net. Then the myth become, became a legend. A few leaked photographs so provocative that, that possession was a federal crime. Then the legend became a rumor. The car is so exclusive that one can confirm it. Exists in the real world. And now, thanks to you, hello, the rumor is about to become a very messy headline. Dude, that doesn't make any sense, Chewie. It's fake, dude. You know these are used cars. Yeah, they put them on. The, they put it out on the internet. Look, look. Imagine this is the car here that's been photoshopped. But then now look at that. It's a shitty car. Boy, well, any other cars you want to look at? I kind of like the the Bugatti Tazerac. Tazerac. Ladies and gentlemen, we have crossed the front. Chewie, pause the vehicle. Let's read what it says. Ladies and gentlemen, we have crossed the frontier. The motor car has evolved. The first member of a new and alien species has arrived, and it does not come in peace. The Tesseract's only purpose is to wage a silent war of annihilation on anything else that dares to call itself a means of transport. As of now, there is a right side of history. Choose wisely. Here. Thank you. Yeah, Chewie, I think. Dude, is this like Area 51 theory? Look at the windshield. Yeah, look, look at the front of the car. It looks, why it look it looks so ugly? Why do you mean it looks so ugly? Okay, what other cars you want to look at? Um, um, um. Dude, just pick a car. What about this one? Let's look at this one. It's owned by Gassy Toro. It's the own make piece of the game. It's own piece of history. Yes, I did. Wait a second. This car marked the end of, the, of an era. A bygone age when porn stars had luxury and public pair and high end car designers didn't take risks. This long came to Toro. A wedge shaped to the door, Sally, and fresh from the back, sacked and cracked. And nothing was ever the same again. 
Decades later, it still looks like the world straight out of a wet dream, wearing nothing but a glint of it in the eye. This is one. This is one for the collectors. So like, like this is like so stupid. Should we these car? These like some people who just wrote journalism for the free car rally. Any other car you want to look at? Um. I think you might have to go pee. All over. I think I can. Like, yeah, like, um. This is your kind of day. Um. Can we look at the um? Tree what? Um. I kind of have I kind of eyeballing the uh. This one here. The Berlilier. The Berlilier has all the looks of a 60s roadster, which, with the added advantage of being able to drive around corners. Combining a sophisticated look with tight handling and the forward momentum of a hungry leopard. Only thing getting in your way here is your lack of coordination and fear of becoming a road accident statistic. I think you better hurry up. Alright, come on, Matt. Should we? Go potty, let's go. That's the same price as the, as the Coquette Blackfin. Coquette Blackfin? Oh, but these aren't here. Are you shitting me right here? Those are Grand Prix cars. Those are Grand Prix cars. You get to drive on the streets. The benefactor of the BR-8. The original race version of the BR-8 was a complicated machine. Constructed from over over 400 separate controls. It requires inhuman dexterity and a PhD in astrophysics. Just to start the engine. For the public. Benefactor has simplified into a handle of brightly colored buttons and a colossal insurance premium. Telling yourself it's never been so use user friendly. Dude, just look look at the steering wheel now. Dude, that looks like this, that's that's the steering wheel that looks like a controller of a GameCube. So is there any game is that a GameCube in the game? I don't know. So you wanna eyeball the Ocelot Swinger. Asphalt Swinger was supposed to be a myth. A few blueprints got passed around by collectors, but it just didn't seem possible. The aerodynamics were decades ahead of their time. The engineering too complex for a classic car. The body work so alluring that just feathering the clutch would feel like cheating on your spouse. But now thanks to the power of assembly robotics and easily monetized nostalgia, this, the legend has finally hit the streets. Okay, Chewie. We can look at one more car, Chewie, then we're, then we're going to the golf course. Let's look at this one here. The S80RR was designed to do two things. Boy, you wanted to be. Alright, sorry about that. I got scooped it. So let's say the S80RR was designed to do two things. First, to be, to be <laughs> dominant endurance racing to its air max get out. Second, to make a few concessions to the physical comfort and psychological well being of the driver that getting as far as the end of the driveway risk multiple organ failure. And an irrecoverable nervous breakdown and absolutely no regrets whatsoever. Dude, I'm pretty I'm pretty they put the freaking car on the on the right the right side like it's a UK car. Okay, what time is it? It's 419. We we better get to the golf course. Don't crash this car trip. I'm not paying I'm not paying again to get it repaired. <laughs> Chewie, 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 I'm not, this is why your fans would not learn how to drive correctly. Turn, turn, turn! Oh, you almost just hit that motorcyclist. Destroy the ramp buggy! Oh, god damn. It wants to destroy a ramp buggy, Chewie. God damn it, Nick! Hey, it's your fans both crashed the car. <laughs> Fit you, fit you, fit you. Yeah, the habaneros. Alright. The habaneros? What about the habaneros? You leave that blanket on the floor and then Rosie goes and sits on it. Oh. Nick! The car is stuck on the well in the fountain, Nick! <laughs> True, fuck you. Okay. Wow! You just crashed to a fucking tree. You got me sitting in the quicksand. Sure, you just crashed the car to a fucking tree. Come on, Nick.
Jimmy, the golf course is not open yet. It's it's still early. I want to play. I want to play golf. Jimmy, it's like literally five o'clock right now. We can go play golf when when the time reaches. You want to go on the? Jimmy, no, I'm not go. This is part of. Yes, mom. Chewy, this is part of property. We're not allowed to be on here. We're not allowed to be here. And it gets the same possibility. It's like pasta supply. Dude, there's, there, Chewy, there's no, there's no anarchy in the UK, okay? When you just found out that you just listened to too much Sex Pistols, so you can just like figure out what the hell GTA Online brought us today. Hey, look, it's Lime Invader. We all get all your troubles away from. Oh yeah, Life Invader. <laughs> I want these cars. Chewy. Okay, fine. This here is a Bavado Banshee. This, is a, this this right here is actually a... It's a I know it's a Dodge, but I forget the car it is. This here is a is an Obey what, OF. This is an Audi R8. And this is an Avero Co Coquette. This is right here. This right here is a Corvette. A Neuro Corvette. Got all those danger explosions, like the new apocalypse. Damn, imagine coronavirus is bad. Chewy, you just, you just, you just give me a glimpse beyond this confusion. Dude, you're driving. <laughs> Can we still go golfing? Dude, does it feel like it? It feels like it's five five o'clock in the morning. It feels like it's like seven o'clock in the morning in the game. Oh, God damn it, Chewy! Chewy, the golf course is not open. Now it is. All right then. Let's go play some fucking golf then. Hooray! We get to play golf. Yeah, all right, sweet. How many games do you want to play then? Hang on, I need to check, I need to check the time on my phone. It's one o'clock, so I got a few more minutes for you before we go and just I gotta have to go over Jordan's. Okay, let's confirm the settings. Do that, I need some food. So right into the, into the blank screen. Okay, then. So, let's go hang out. Okay. Are you coughing? Is that a good... Damn it. Come on. In the fairy... In, in the regulation. Fairy regulation. Nice job. You got the regulation. Hooray! Hi for you. Damn it. Shit. See, Chewie, the game of the golf is, you always gotta know, there's actually, there's golfing has etiquette. You're not allowed to talk when a person swings the ball. Otherwise, you want to, you gotta let the player concentrate on the hole, on the ball. Who try to get a strike at a hole in one? Woo, you got a perfect hit, Nick. I know, almost, I, I almost, almost passed the sand pit. Do I need to get some water? I need to get some to drink. He's the biggest stuck in, in my throat. Alright, now this last one here. This one explains the, the detour of the ball. You want to look, you want to try to get, get a perfect hit on the ball. So here we go. Slowly, and don't tap your ball slowly. Yeah, you got birdie! You good, good job, Nick. Good job. Well, that's the key point. Okay, here's the next one. Damn it. So, the main part, you don't want, you don't want to add the ball to spinning because otherwise it'll screw up the ball. The ball's momentum and the ball's speed will actually screw up the whole process of it. Okay, what's this one? Oh gosh, the tree. I remember this one. I don't know why the rocks are planting a tree in the fucking golf course. 
Oh, he's going over the tree. Oh my god, no regulation, no regulation. Oh my god, dude. Good to be caught on the video. Oh my goodness, dude. Trying to get in the hole, Nick. Don't get a birdie. Alright, at least we're, we're like far away from the hole. Come on. You got our birdie, Nick. Nick, are you having good luck so far? You got our birdie. I know, Chewy. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no. Oh no, that ain't not fair. It's outside the regulation. God damn it. You're probably gonna get a par for this, right, Nick? Probably, I don't know. Uh, it wasn't that late. Okay. Look at Chewy. In a hole. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a par. No, I think it's a bogey. God damn it, I lost the birdie, no. Alright, you can start again. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go ahead now. Where's the kids? God damn it, that's a damn it, that's a you your longest drive to the hole is 198 yards? I couldn't read that because it was going so fast. Oh no. You're close to the sand pit! Okay. No, no, not in the hole. Not in, no, no, no more. No more. No more. No more. Oh, it's... See, Chewie, the reason why I didn't hit the water is because I'm, I'm far away from the ridge. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Shut up. Come on, in the hole. In the hole. In the hole. No! God damn it! I'm not getting a bogey. I don't want a, I don't want a bogey. <laughs> it's because your baby shirt's... I'm like, I, I'm making a bogey. Damn, I lost all my birdies. No. Oh, no. This one you got hit from the water. I know, Chewy. Swing. You got to swing the ball's momentum. Swing its momentum. <laughs> God damn it. You went in the sand pit. Okay, it's in the regulation tree. The green's over there. No, 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 no! Damn it, Nick! Dude, I just... Dude, you gotta be shooting right now. What? I'm not trying to make it in that hole. Oh, no, Nick! I think I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get like three bogeys. I know, like, I know, I know I'm gonna get three bogeys, Chewie. Wait, it went in the hole, Nick. Because it's because because I was I was under par. Hey, close, close to close to the hole, Nick. It's cool. I remember the last time I actually actually did it actually went right into the hole like it just bounced. Yeah, you lost one of your birdies. Bogies. Cause you, you you need to look at the ball closely. It's like playing hockey almost. I mean, shit, Chewie. Okay, we're just playing. You're just playing golf, and it's like the same peaceful game. It's not like it's not like you're trying to eat a hot dog and and, and drink while playing golf on a golfing course where you spilled your hot dog on the last day. No, we're not the same thing. <gasps> No, it was close to the regulation. <laughs> all right, all right. Closely, we gotta. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to put it right into the hole right there. Right there. I can't. I couldn't see because the damn tree was right there in my face. Hmm. Well, at least you got a par. Ain't too bad. Oh, all right. You're like that one guy from Lazy Town, sport against. This plant is what? It's it's a friendly game of golf. So that one SpongeBob episode was where SpongeBob Patrick build their own golf course in the house and then try to wake then they basically woke Squidward up. Damn it! God damn the tree. See, I think rocks 
Rockstar is basically trying to fool you because basically when you the tree right there basically basically fools you. And look at this. I want, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna like go like right over here. See what happens. It's gonna move my ball like right over there. And look. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to move like over there. Yes. Cause that tree. Cause they. They know. They know that tree's right there, and it's gonna. It's gonna ruin the swing of the wall. Okay, tree. Oh, I'm not gonna. I know. It's better to be a bogey. Oh, it's a par. Okay. All right. I think it's. I think it's the last hole. Try to get a birdie this time, Nick. Please get a birdie. Okay, try. Regulation. Don't want to make it in the hole. Come on, in the hole. Oh yes, yes, bigger. Joey, we did it. You got a birdie. Dude, you said we should try to get a birdie, but now I actually did get a birdie. Damn, golfing is fun. <laughs> of course, Joey, golfing is always fun. What is it? Detail on good vibrations. Thirsty for some real car culture? Fly into LS car. <laughs>